It's a la vie, baby. Yeah. What's the deal? We back with another one. We got SML movie, the firework problem. Um, have you guys ever had a firework problem? I know me and my cousin, we had a firework problem one time. We was starting out to light up fireworks, but we was ready to light up fireworks. So my cousin was like, hey, you want to go light up a firework? I got a lighter. I said, you know what? I'll go, I'll go sneak off and get one of the fireworks, right? We had to go do a firework or whatever. But the way we pointed it to a tree that was sitting in the field, right? I mean, not a tree, a, um, a couch that was sitting in the field. I don't know why this nigga aimed it at the couch. It was supposed to go up. This nigga aimed it right at the couch. We light it. Bam! Boom! See, we, we see smoke. We're like, all right, I ain't thinking nothing much of it. Two minutes later, it's a full-blown fire. We were in the house. You know what I'm saying? Man, they had to call the fire. <laughs> they had to call the fire department out there. My papa was out there with a water hose. <laughs> trying to sprinkle it out with water. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, we just sitting there watching it. We're terrified, right? Because it just goes into this massive fire or whatever. So then we look up or whatever. And my I see my papa eyes come to me and my cousin. I take off. I my cousin, he ain't see what was going on. So he got it. And they was looking for me. And they ended up having, after the, after the fire, they had to go. <laughs> they had to go on a manhood to look for me. They found me two hours later in the woods. <laughs> I wasn't getting that ass whooping. <laughs> I wasn't. But thank you guys for tuning in. Without further ado, let's get it. Guys, how was your Fourth of July? No, it was cool. It blew stuff up. Yeah, dude, Fourth of July is coming up too. Colorful. Yeah, but Fourth of July is over, so no more fireworks. Well, I do have all these fireworks left over from the Fourth of July. Damn, Whoa, you have Cody! All these fireworks left over? Oh yeah, Cody got money. He spent money on that. That's what about hundred bucks? Oh, dude, you know we gotta pop them. Well, yeah. let's go, Bubbum Junior. Let's go. <laughs> Really, bro? Breaking news, MK! Breaking news, MK! Just reminding everyone that lighting fireworks after the 4th of July is illegal. So don't Bullshit. Don't do it! That's the best time to pop them is on the 5th, too. Man, look, where, where I'm at, you gonna hear fireworks from 4th, 5th, maybe the 6th. It's not worth the punishment. We can't pop fireworks after the 4th of July? That's gay. I guess that does make sense. If you can pop fireworks every no day, offense, then the 4th of July isn't special. But we're still popping these fireworks, right? Of course we're still popping the fireworks, Joe. Gang, gang, gang type sh so But no, guys, we don't want to go to jail. We're not going to go to jail, Cody. How would the cops know we're popping fireworks? Yeah, how would they know, dude? Well, they have, like, satellites. Like, like NASA could tell them. NASA's not going to waste their time watching three kids pop fireworks. NASA's too busy trying to make sure the sun doesn't explode. What, they couldn't stop the sun if it did explode? And NASA's only job- Hey, if the sun exploded, we did. What happens to stop the sun from exploding? What? No, how would they even do that? NASA stands for not allowing sun exploding. Exploding starts with an E. <laughs> it's called dumb. Because when the sun explodes, it's so astronomically big, it's called exploding. Exploding is not a word. Look it up, it is a real word. Because Axe body spray He's just spray making is up his own words. Exploding. What? No one's going to wear Axe body spray when the sun explodes. Then why they sponsor it, Cody? Let's just, fight. Let's just, stop. Let's just do the fireworks. <laughs> All right, guys. You ready to like How you going to let somebody piss you off in the dudes? Something that you don't want to do. This firework? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Ooh, the fact that it's illegal makes me feel so naughty. Light it, Cody. Hey! You guys don't touch my dad's lawn. Okay. What? Light Go it, home. Cause, cause then, then I'll get in trouble. What? Oh, my God. I said, don't touch my dad's lawn, cause I'll get in trouble. We're not gonna touch his lawn. We're in the middle of the road, dude. Yeah, so my dad put me on neighborhood watch just to make sure nobody touches his lawn. We're not gonna touch. Oh no, I wouldn't have been doing that. Touch his lawn. So what do you got? I would have been eight town stumping in his lawn if I was Timmy. He's up to. We're about to light this firework. <gasps> You're gonna light a firework after the Fourth yes, of July? Timmy, but yes, Timmy. But that's illegal. Yeah, well, we're gonna do it anyway. Light it, Cody. It's but, a hucker. Don't. You get caught? Well, then we'll blame you and say you're the one that lit it. <laughs> Ooh, see, look, you're making yourself an enemy. But if you do that, I'll call the cops. All right, listen. It's illegal to light fireworks outside, right? So maybe it's not illegal to light it inside a house. So if you let it, if you let us light it inside your house, maybe we won't get in trouble. Yeah, because he said the grass, not the house. 
Really? It's not illegal to light it in someone's house? And you don't lie to him. I don't think it's illegal to light it in someone's house, because if you light it inside a house, no one will know you did it, right? Yeah, it's like a private viewing, dude. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow, you know what? Pardon my French, private but viewing. what the heck? Come on, guys! What? You're gonna let us light it inside your house? Heck yeah, let's go! He's not with us, dude. He's an idiot, he's an idiot. <laughs> All right, guys, be quiet. My parents are sleeping. Okay. And they let the you outside. This should be a good place to light it. Junior, we should tell him his house could burn down. No, he's an idiot. He's actually letting us light it in his house. Just light it, Cody. Light it. Okay. Back up, back up, back up. Everyone back up. Everyone back up. Okay. Oh, wow. Look, it's so pretty. Yeah, it is. I think it might be hitting my ceiling. Yeah, it is. It's, it's not touching the grass, though. Uh, Junior, we should get out of here. Oh, let's go, go, go. Where are you guys going? Huh? Huh? Honey, that's the fire alarm! Oh no, we gotta save my best line of the year trophies! What about- <laughs> What about the kids, Hank? Our uh, children! You go get the kids, and I'll get my trophies! Alright! Ah! Alright! Jimmy, what the fuck did you do?! Oh, I got the fire alarm, It wasn't me, Dad! <laughs> that was so cool, guys! Oh, dude, that kid's an idiot! <laughs> Junior, you could've burned that up. kid's house down! Well, it would've been his fault, cause he's- Oh, this is not Cody's boyfriend yet, is he? The one who let us do it. Well, Junior, you know how gullible he is. You took advantage of his innocence. Oh, look, it looked cool. You did, too. Well, didn't it, Cody? Well, it did look cool, but it was wrong, Junior. It was very wrong. Yeah, he feels like this, cause this is gonna be his future boyfriend. <laughs> well, it looks like the cause of all the smoke was this firework that was lit in the kitchen. Yeah, we already knew that. Oh, well, I would suggest not doing that again. No sh Again, because he could have burnt the house down. You hear that, Timmy? You almost burnt the goddamn house down, you fuckhead. Honey, language. <laughs> no, fuck that. Timmy fucker do over here almost caused the- <laughs> Timmy fucker do. <laughs> Big fuck up in the kitchen. Parents, what happened? Your shithead brother Timmy over there let a firework in the kitchen almost burn down the goddamn house. It wasn't me, father, I swear. Well, then who was it? It was, it was the three handsome neighbor boys across the street. The three handsome neighbor boys, what? Well, they Leviticus. <laughs> in the house. I don't know, they, they, they broke in. You hear that? Three boys across the street broke into my house and lit a firework in my goddamn kitchen. And you ain't stop them. Well, in that case, it looks like I have to make an arrest. Let me go put my cop outfit on. Timmy, since you didn't do it, you're not grounded. Yes. All right, guys, what do you want to do for the- Oh, that is so dirty. He's not as stupid as they think. Rest of the night. We could pop the rest of those fireworks we left outside. Oh, we dang. could do that. All right, kids, you might be under arrest. It was them, Dad. Timmy, you fucking narc. Did you kids light a fucking firework in my kitchen? Well, yes. Uh, I mean, yeah, but Timmy said we could do it. No, no I didn't. Ooh. Timmy, you liar. Ooh. Uh. All right, that's assault. And I guess you kids are... <laughs> Why would you do that in front of a cop, Joseph? You are under arrest. You come with me. Oh, Timmy, I hate you. George Poobie! I am the Honorable Judge Poobie! And yes. today we will be hearing the case of a most heinous crime. Junior! Did he say anus crime? Joseph and Cody, apparently you broke into Mr. Huckadoo's home and lit a firework after the 4th of July and then ran away like a bunch of hoodlums. So tell me why you did it. Tell me why you're guilty. Look, Your Honor, we did do it. Junior, you're not supposed to admit it. Yeah, dude, what's wrong with you? No, look, we did do it, but the hucker dude's son, Timmy, he's the one who let us in the house and said we could light the firework in their kitchen. Hmm. Oh. Mr. Huckadoo, does this sound like something your son would do? Your Honor, my son would never do anything like that. He's an all-A student. He never breaks the rules. Hmm, sounds like a real square to me. Oh, I bet he's fun at parties. Junior Joseph, he's not. Cody, if his son is a square, what shape are you? Uh, a square. We're squares too. Circle? Like a rhombus? Pentagon? Look, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Huckerdoo does not know how much of a not square his son really is. Bring in the son. I will assess his squareness. Timmy, get your ass in here! What's going on, Dad? The judge wants to speak to you. One, two, three, four corners. Square. Squares, Bill. Damn. Listen, kid. How you gonna let the judge talk about your son like that, Mr. Huckerdoo? Did you let Even though you call Timmy a Fucker do. Let those boys into your house to light a firework in your kitchen, and I'm warning you, don't lie to me. I don't like liars. Have you ever heard of liar, liar, pants on fire? We can make that literal. Uh, Damn. Uh, uh, Go on, 
what's up? Tell the judge the same thing you told me. Uh... Before you answer, look into my eyes and swear on your father's life that what you're about to say to me. This is getting deep. Is the truth? Getting heavy. Truth? I swear on my father's life that I, I, I did let them in so they could light the firework in the kitchen. <laughs> look at Hank's face. Tell me how could you? You little blonde ass is grand. I see. So you are not guilty of being a square, but you are guilty of breaking your father's rules, which is not actually a crime, but it does deserve a spanking. Junior Joseph and Cody, you still lit a firework after the 4th of July, which we all know is a very serious crime punishable by death. Death? Death for lighting up some fireworks? Get the f*** out of here. But why is it even wrong to light a firework after the 4th of July anyway? Because Hello. you scare my dog. And it wakes up old people. We have work in the morning. But fireworks are fun! Oh, really? Is there anything fun about this? Woohoo! So fun. It, it, it's very quite mesmerizing. <laughs> Judge, you just lit a firework, so you just broke the law. You Ooh. You're right! My god, I forgot my father. Somebody take this away from me. Oh, God. <laughs> Where did the black hair come from? <laughs> What? What a black hair sleep? Yeah, his dad died from lighting fireworks after the 4th of July. I can't sentence you boys to death after I committed the same crime as you. How about this? How about we call it Even Stevens? Is that okay? I'll just let you off with the- That's the thing? A warning this time. Yeah. I'm sure. I- No! These kids need to be punished for what they did in my kitchen and for ruining my little Timmy! Oh my god, Hank. Stop being such a square. I sentence <laughs> you to take a chill pill. Damn. You can't keep letting people- Need his offer of Xanax. <laughs> you get away without punishment! Oh, looky here, Hank. Look what I found. Hmm. You have an unpaid parking ticket from 2004. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, man, they'll get you like that every time. So I could suspend your license for a year, or you could quit being a little bitch and pull the stick out of your ass, Hank. How about that? <sighs> Come on, Timmy. We gotta go. I can't lose my license, because I have to be able to drive you to soccer practice, or as the Italians call it, football. <laughs> All right, kids, run along, but never light another firework after the 4th of July again. How many you bet one thing? I can't even get my words out. I was thinking about something. How many do you think, how many of you want to bet that Junior's going to light that again? I think he is. Unless it's on New Year's Eve, that would be fine. Court adjourned. What the door one? let's go. Well, where are you going, Cody? No, sorry. Wow, guys, that was really close. We really dodged a bullet there. We just get by by yeah. the hairs of our chinny chin chins. Just by the skin. The chinny chin chinders. Of our teeth. Teeth don't have skin, Cody. Well, I don't know. That's just how the saying goes. They can eat through skin, though. But look, my point is we almost went to jail, so we shouldn't do stupid stuff anymore. Okay, Cody, we'll just sit on the couch and be boring. Boring! Hey, guys. What are you doing here? Yeah, exactly. what are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? Well, I, I just came by to say... Say it, shithead. I just came by to say that I'm sorry for lying and almost getting you guys sent to jail for the death penalty. Yeah, the death penalty was a little extreme. Well, you're stupid because you snitched on us. But, Junior, it was <laughs> our fault. But he snitched. Well, then he unsnitched. Okay, whatever. How can you snitch and unsnitch? Timmy, just leave. That. Oh, thanks. So, you guys want to come over to my place and play seven minutes in heaven? Yes. No, you're grounded, young man. You play that with girls, Timmy. So you get that little caboose behind this train, and you tell your friends, see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Gotta go, buffalo. See you soon, raccoon. Be sweet, parakeet. Take care, polar bear. In a shake, garter snake. Hit the road, happy toad. Can't stay, blue jay. Bye-bye, butterfly. Give me a hug, ladybug. Toodaloo, kangaroo. Time to scoot, little newt. Till then, penguin. Okay, I think you guys should just leave. All right, I... Hank is officially weird. Adios, hippos. That one wasn't even good. Asta manana, iguana. Okay. So, guys, what do you want to Dumb. do tonight since we can't do anything fun? Let's go pop them fireworks. Yeah, let's go pop them. No. Gang, gang, gang. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Shout out to all my supporters. I love you. And that's it, baby. We out.